coming to this day on the hill is so important and valuable and it helps continue the work that NAPSO does when we're not here and by putting our voices and names to it it uh, makes it more genuine and it helps kind of bridge the gap in between everybody. Uh, NAPSO members should attend the day on the hill because it's a it's a good way for the legislators to hear your voice uh, even if it's a single voice on the hill, they love to hear from you, they need to hear from you, and it's very specific issues that are common to the industry. It's important to, to show up and, and, and participate in that. NATSA members should attend Day on the Hill because it gives you an opportunity to have your voice heard in Congress. And believe it or not, they want to hear from you. Every meeting that we go to, that I've ever attended, it's always been a receptive audience. They listen to you. They may not always agree with you, but they will listen to you, and it's important to have your voice heard. Otherwise, there's no opportunity. And so members should uh, participate on Day on the Hill because there's nothing like a constituent from a congressman or senator's individual uh, district or state that comes in and sits down in their office and expresses concerns and encourages direction for legislation that's being considered, proposed, or that may need to be altered. Uh, NATSO members should attend Day on the Hill because it is addressing real life issues that affect their business and their livelihood and their future within their locations. It gives them the opportunity to discuss this with other members around the country and interact with uh, senators and congressmen who can have a real impact on these issues. So I think some people are hesitant to come to Day on the Hill with NAPSO, but they shouldn't be because the NAPSO staff trains us, they tell us what the issues are, we get to talk through them and understand them. Starting out, the team gives you great preparation, your talking points are, are fully digested in a group setting so that you can you know, talk about the best ideas uh, and best ways to you know, create creative solutions for industry issues that come before us and deliver those remarks to members of Congress and or their staff. Oh, they have done a fantastic job. I think it's uh, one of the big tasks to make an appointment with this uh, representatives, uh, prepare all these uh, uh, NATSO members on what kind of issues that we should focus on and what should we present and how should we present and they are with us holding our hand uh, going to senator to senator or representative to representative and uh, open up uh, break the ice start the conversation and uh, present us and uh, they have also their uh, assistant take a nod on all our conversations um, for anybody that's a first timer that comes to natso day on the hill um, the nice thing that is they do all of the, the, the NATSO team does all of the scheduling and they generally match you up with somebody that's experienced and has done that before or a NATSO uh, employee that, that can uh, take, you, take you under their wing and show you the ropes and let you experience that. I, I had someone with me today that, that was exactly in that, in that format. He didn't really even participate in much but he observed everything and really appreciated it.